My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Church celebrates the great solemnity of the Annunciation, a day that we call to mind the, the visit of the, the Archangel Gabriel to the Blessed Virgin Mary, her great fiat in response to the will of God that she conceive the Savior of the world in her womb. And so it is a day that the readings and the mysteries uh, celebrated this day are deep, and yet, as a Marian day, it's also very appropriate that Pope Francis has chosen today uh, as a, a day for, for consecration. As we've continued to pray uh, on behalf of the, the people of Ukraine uh, for peace over there, for the conversion of, of bad actors in Russia, uh, the, the Holy Father has turned to a, a venerable practice in the Church's tradition which is the consecration of lands and of peoples uh, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And so today, Pope Francis at five o'clock local time in Rome uh, will be beginning a, a penitential service that will conclude with him praying a, an act of consecration of the human family, the church, and particularly Ukraine and Russia uh, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. He, they estimate that that prayer will actually happen around 6.30 Rome time and so all the bishops of the world have been invited along with their local faithful and clergy uh, to take part in this, this prayer of consecration. At the same time, the, the papal almoner will be in, in Fatima uh, leading the same prayer as well. And so you can, uh, you can follow the, the prayer of, of consecration. Cardinal Donardo and Bishop Italo will be doing it in English and Spanish live from the chapel of St. Mary's Seminary. Uh, to, uh, this morning at uh, 11 a.m. And so uh, you can join in on that through the, the Archdiocesan social media accounts or the website. I'm not going to share with you the, the prayer text itself, although it's already published online, but I want to share the, the letter that, by which Pope Francis promulgated his intention to the world. Nearly a month has passed since the outbreak of the war in Ukraine that is daily inflicting immense suffering upon its sorely tried people and threatening world peace. At this dark hour, the Church is urgently called to intercede before the Prince of Peace and to demonstrate her closeness to those directly affected by the conflict. I am grateful to the many people who have responded with great generosity to my appeals for prayer, fasting, and charity. Now, also in response to numerous requests by the people of God, I wish in a special way to entrust the nations at war to the Blessed Virgin Mary. As I announced yesterday at the conclusion of the Angelus Prayer on March 25th, the Solemnity of the Annunciation, I intend to carry out a solemn act of consecration of humanity, of Ru and Russia and Ukraine in particular, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary since it is fitting that we should invoke peace with hearts renewed by God's forgiveness, the act of consecration will take place in the context of a celebration of penance to be held at St. Peter's Basilica at 5 o'clock Rome time. The act itself will take place about 6.30. This act of consecration is meant to be a gesture of the universal church, which in this dramatic moment lifts up to God through his mother and ours the cry of pain of all those who suffer and implore an end to the violence and entrust the future of our human family to the Queen of Peace. I ask you to join in this act by inviting the priests, religious, and faithful to assemble in their churches and places of prayer on 25 March so that God's holy people may raise a heartfelt and choral plea to Mary, our Mother. I am sending you the text of the prayer of consecration so that all of us can recite it throughout that day in fraternal union. I thank you for your attention. You will give this request and for your ready cooperation. With great affection, I bless you in the faithful and trusted to your pastoral care. May Jesus protect you and the Holy Virgin watch over you. I ask you please also to pray for me. That is the letter that Pope Francis wrote to his brother bishops, which has in turn been sent to all of the clergy and the world uh, as we prepare this very noble cause to, on this great Marian solemnity, to entrust to her uh, the needs for all in the way of violence 
uh, for all who cry out uh, for justice and mercy. And so on this day, whether you can take part in the, the live consecration or not, please at least pray in a very special way for the interse intercession of Our Lady, uh, that all of her children may be brought safely into the fold of God. May God bless you.